So then guys, this is super exciting news. The iPad mini may get a pro chipset inside it in 2024 upon its release. Now, at the moment, everyone else is banging on about these here, the iPad Pros and also the iPad Air 2. And also, quite recently, I even just spoke about this, that we may even be getting an M4 chipset in the likes of an iPad Pro. And if you want more information about that, check out the video that's above me there in the corner for more information about that. But going back to the iPad Mini, believe it or not, this is the longest iPad product that Apple have not updated. The next generation iPad mini came out in 2021 and it had that brand new design language which is very similar to the likes of the iPad, iPad Air and the iPad Pro that we have right now. It also featured 5G capability and it also at the time had the top of range A15 chipset inside of it. It had a bigger display, it also had 5G capabilities and it also had the state of the art A15 chipset inside of it at the time of release. But here we are in 2024, you know, coming over almost three years later now and Apple still have not updated this iPad. So today, I want to go over everything that we're probably going to see with the new iPad mini upon its release and also I'm going to go over the details about its specs and price too. Now, one of the first things that's going to be changed on the iPad mini is all to do with the display. Now, a lot of users have complained about jelly scrolling abilities or jelly scrolling effects, and it looks like this is going to be fixed by Apple actually assembling the screen in a different way. So it's going to be more like a sort of horizontal instead of vertical sort of assembly, and this should sort out this problem straight away. So good news on that one. If you were afraid of getting an iPad mini, it looks like this is going to be resolved now. But where the biggest upgrade is actually going to happen this year is all to do with the internals and mainly to do with the chipset inside of the iPad mini. Now, for the first time ever, we could get a Pro chipset put inside the iPad mini, what could be the A17 Pro. The A17 Pro came out with the iPhone 15 Pro models last year in 2023, and it looks like this could be moved over to the iPad mini. Now, one thing you may be asking is why can't they just simply put an M3 or an M4 or even an M2 inside the iPad mini? The main reason is it would be too powerful for the iPad mini's battery and also it would take up a lot of space. At the end of the day, the likes of an M2 and M3 chip, they're not the smallest of dies, especially they've got everything inside it, like GPU, they've got the neural engine, the CPU, and all other bits and pieces too, all inside the same chip, and it's got a bit of a big footprint. If you were to put this in the likes of, say, a iPad mini, you'd probably have to reduce down on battery size, and also because of the amount of cores we're talking about, that we get like the eight cores, like in the M3, for example, then this would really really drained out on the battery inside the iPad mini so it's probably better for Apple to stick say the A17 Pro inside of the iPad mini and this effectively could probably actually make the iPad mini into an iPad mini Pro with this chipset. Now some of you are going to say well why not just put the A16 inside of it instead? Well this is my point where I said at the beginning of the video it's been more than three years by the end of 2024 since we've had an update. So this is what I mean when the iPhone 13 Pro models came out it had the A15 inside of it and so did the iPad mini. So it just makes sense that this time around we'll either get last year's chip with the A17 Pro or even the A18 Pro inside of it. And there is even that slight possibility if Apple do bring out an A 18 chipset as you can see right here then that might also go into this iPad but personally I think Apple want to bump up this iPad to be more of a pro level iPad especially like we talked about the release of the brand new iPads that are just about to come out and also all the features the new Apple Pencil and all of that will be able to be used with this brand new iPad mini. We may also get eight gigabytes of RAM paired up with this, because this is what we've got with the actual Pro iPhones right now. And the only other thing as well is the storage might go up by one tier this time as well. So starting storage might start out at 128 gigabytes for this iPad this time. But overall, for the whole design of the iPad mini, it is not probably going to change at all, because at the end of the day, it's only had one generation of this current design, so it's probably not going to change whatsoever. But one thing that may 
change is the actual orientation of the camera on the front. It may be horizontal this time to line up with all the leaks that we've heard about the new iPad Pros and the iPad Air. This would just make sense for the iPad Mini. And also at the end of the day, the 10th generation iPad has this too. Then the only other thing as well is on the rear camera, this may get upgraded to a newer sensor with a bit more of a better aperture and focal sort of length there. So there may be some improvements there. And then that combined with the A17 Pro, the A18 Pro, then yeah, we're expecting some big improvements. The only other advantage we may see, well, this is to do again to do with the A18 Pro, but this is more software related. We may see newer AI tasks put inside the iPad mini for the first time. But I think WWDC 2024 and also this iPad Pro event is going to show us more of what could be coming down to the iPad mini in its software ways. The next thing that Apple love to do with a product is they love to bring out new colors. So expecting some new colors on the iPad mini this time round. But like I said, design wise, exactly the same and next of all we're going to talk about the release date the price but just before i do that i want to talk to you guys about this this here is a macbook pro m3 and we're giving away this at the end of june time on the international giveaway on this channel and all you have to do to enter in to possibly get your hands on this macbook pro is subscribe to this channel and also at the same time write down in the comments below of what apple gear or technology gear you're planning to buy in 2024 put them down in the comments right now and like i said guys at the end of june i'm going to be doing an announcement on this channel of all the details of the live stream for you doing the giveaway of this macbook pro and there'll also be a form to fill in as well i'll announce in that video so like i said if you are brand new here make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss out on that notification at all the only thing i also want to say is that this macbook pro just to go over the specs it's the m3 14 inch model it has 16 gigabytes of ram inside of it it also has 512 gigabyte ssd so it's quite a good spec macbook pro m3 and also i just want to say guys if you do get messages on here telling you to part with money to telegram or to whatsapp or all these kind of weird things too please do ignore them or better still as you can see here please do report them so next of all is the release date now the last release like i said was at the end of september 2020 for the actual iPad mini and it's most likely that we're probably going to see the new iPad mini with the upgraded chip and everything like that at the end of 2024 and most likely this will happen at the Apple event what is scheduled to be in the early teens to mid teens of September time and we'll probably be able to get our hands on the new iPad mini around about a week later the only other thing when it could come out is maybe about a month later in October if Apple plans to do a another kind of um, event or something like that like they did last year with the scary fast event for the macbooks with the m3 introduction they may do this as well and they may introduce the brand new ipad mini at that event too so main target i'd probably say is going to be september if not worst case scenario is going to be around sort of mid to end october time that we'll be able to get hands on the brand new ipad mini for price wise right now the ipad mini starts at 499 us dollars and to be deadly honest it's probably most likely that this price is probably going to stay which may go up by about 50 dollars or so and the main reason behind this is all because of obviously like i said if we're going to get a17 pro or an a18 pro put inside of it the price will go up probably most likely because of that reason there if not it's probably going to be staying at the same 499 us dollars but for now this is all we know about the ipad mini are you excited about it and will you be getting your hands on one let me know in the comments below and also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and updates make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too until next time i'll see you soon guys bye bye